ever since Deep Seek AI came out a couple of months ago, a couple of months from the, the time of the recording of this video, a lot of my friends and associates and subscribers um, have used Raspberry Pi, mostly Raspberry Pi 5, as their AI machine, and they've installed DeepSeek AI on their Raspberry Pi to to train the large language models or LLMs, and they have asked me why the fan keeps running all the time on their Raspberry Pi. Now, I have a Raspberry Pi um, 4, okay, and I bought this a long time ago, well before the pandemic, when it was still very cheap. Of course, even the 4Bs are not cheap anymore these days. But people are using 4Bs and 5s to run AI. And... Um, and they, they, they can't figure out why the fan is constantly running. They either bought their pies with the fan already pre-installed, or they installed the fans themselves. Now, I installed this fan myself. I installed it uh, to the uh, cover box, and I plugged it into the um, number 14 slot on the GPIO. GPIO being general purpose input output. Of course, the input belongs to the programmer and, and the machine handled output. Um, as you can see here, I do have these heat sinks on here on the, on the board, but I just wanted to have additional cooling, uh, in case the machines is in a unusually hot external environmental conditions, okay? I just put it that way. Now, of course, if you use your Pi in your office or in your house, that won't be an issue, right? But if it's in the field, if it's deployed in the field on a, a UAS system, un, unmanned aerial system or unmanned ground system or in an industrial setting, then, you, you know, it can pretty hot so it, it helps to have additional cooling besides the heat sink now keep in mind that the raspberry pi operating system is configured to where if the temperature gets to around 85 degrees celsius 85 degrees celsius or thereabouts it will start to throttle down it will throttle down so that uh, it, it won't damage itself won't get damaged. So in that situation, that's rare situation, having a fan would help. Now, of course, the fan, that's just an electric motor. You can, you know, with the GPIO slot, you can connect uh, pretty much anything that's available. So you can see all the toys that I have here that will plug into a GPIO and some, you know, some light soldering work. Um, so just real quick on my, uh, Pi, I got rid of the micro SD card, uh, and I've installed the operating system on this Samsung, um, Samsung T7 SSD. Now it does not work as fast as a native, what is it, the NV, NVM CE SSD that, that connect via SATA, of course I'm connecting via USB, right? Uh, but it's still a hell of a lot faster than the micro SD card. And in a separate video, I'm, I'm gonna run AI on this Pi as well, but that's a separate video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the fan, configure the temperature, uh, set, set, the temp uh, uh, set up a temperature setting so that the fan is not constantly running. By, by the way, just a, PSA, public service announcement. If you are going to do work on the actual machine, I would suggest have some, some sort of static, uh, anti-static wrist band. Okay, that's grounded somewhere. As you can see here, I'm, I'm grounded to, to metal. So, um, 
the chances of you damaging your machine is, is low, but you never know. So be on the safe side, please. Thanks. Okay, so I am remoting into my Raspberry Pi 4B. I do not have a 5. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 5 is currently out of my price range. I have a 4B with 8 gigs of RAM. And most likely the, the process for 5 is very similar. Okay, so I am remoting into uh, the Pi from my MacBook because the recording software, OBS Studios, works better on the Mac. So I am in the terminal. And I'm going to show you how to do this initially from the, ter uh, from the terminal. There's a, there's a UI to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do it from the terminal first in case you have to SSH through a tunnel to get into your Raspberry Pi. If your Raspberry Pi is deployed remotely or your Raspberry Pi is um, on a UAV or UAS or uh, ground vehicle or some sort of industrial settings and you, you cannot... Uh, get access to the GUI, like the UI like I am here, you can do it from a terminal, okay? Of course, the only reason why I'm able to uh, remote into my uh, do a screen remote like this is because the Pi and my MacBook is on the same network. If you're on a different network, you're not going to be able to do desktop, uh, uh, remote to a desktop like this, have desktop access. Uh, remote access like this. So you're going to do it through terminal. So uh, run the raspy config command as sudo super user. Of course, I will paste the, these commands in the description for the video. And it will present you with this menu here. Now, the way to navigate this, if you don't already know, and this the navigation is the same for throughout all the Raspberry Pis, is that you navigate using the arrow the arrow key on your keyboard up and down and then you can if you get to you want to get to select or finish you can continue scrolling all the way down using the down arrow or you can just hit tab okay and then you shift tab to go back up again so the option we want is number four performance option and i want to get to the fan set behavior of the gpio yes now this is the GPIO slot that I showed you earlier in my machine. This slot number 14. That's where I plug the wires into. So yes. Okay, so by default, now I physically set this to, to zero earlier off screen, but by, the, by default, um, it's, I think when you install the fan, it'll turn the fan on all the time. Okay, and, and if you turn the set uh, have a configuration for the fan it'll default to 60 degrees Celsius initially so from here uh, let's do 85 or whatever uh, degrees in Celsius that you want to to set it at again around 85 or so uh, the Raspberry Pi operating system will throttle the hardware so that it won't damage itself so having a fan will really help. Okay, and then I, okay, yep, just, that's just a confirmation window. Okay, then we're gonna tap to finish, and it'll ask me to reboot. Okay, if I click yes here, uh, now again, you have to reboot for this config configuration to take effect. All right, so keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna stop recording so that it doesn't cut off here. Okay, so if I've I've rebooted my Raspberry Pi remotely, and uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if my mic is picking up the background noise, but you don't hear the fan spinning anymore until it gets it get heated up to eighty five degrees. Now you can run a diagnostic test. There's documentation for that on the. Um, on the uh, Raspberry Pi documentation page. Now, to accomplish the same thing in the UI, so you go to the Raspberry Pi icon here. If you're running, if you're running uh, the Raspberry Pi operating system, you're gonna go to preferences. You're gonna go to Raspberry, Raspberry Pi configuration, and you can go to performance. And as you can see here, because I did it in the terminal, it's already 
it's already configured. But for whatever reason, you wish to reconfigure it, and you, you can go ahead and change that here. Again, you have to you have to um, reboot the system for it to take effect. Or if you if you wish to have if you wish to have the fan on all the time, because you know you're fighting a war in hell, I guess, uh, then you just turn this off, click OK, and then reboot, and then the fan will be on all the time. Otherwise, you want to um, have this enabled. Okay, my friends, uh, hopefully that uh, was helpful. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.